to, before we get on to Champions League, though, have our weekly uh, Ireland manager update first, though. And the news is, of course, that there is no news. Uh, Richard, we'll get your take on it. Uh, the saga continues. Since we were here last week with Brian, uh, Carsley's out, we know, we think. Uh, Lennon is out. Chris Coleman was in and then out. <laughs> Uh, we thought uh, your old teammate Damien Duff in the in the papers during the week described the situation as embarrassing, uh, the amount of time it's taken. While the latest from the FAI director of football, Mark Canham, he says we are getting closer. So, what's your taking it all? Yeah, it's not it's not great. I mean, um, I can understand that if they've gone after Lee Carsley and he's the one that they they see as the future to bring us forward into the next, not just the next campaign, but maybe the next ten years, and they've gone all in on that. When I look around, there's nobody really like him. It's not like Lee Carsley is, is one and then there's someone similar towards similar sort of style. I don't think there's anyone like him. I think the other people that have been mentioned are are obviously good good coaches, but they don't. I, I wouldn't say they would have the backing that Lee Carsley would have in terms of supporters and that sort of belief that you've got a young youngish manager, someone trying to, to make a name for himself, tr someone trying to forge a career almost. I think people will get behind Lee Carsley an awful lot more than the other people that have been mentioned. So... It is disappointing that they've not found their man, sort of thing. But I can understand because of the the difficulty in trying to find a replicate Lee Carsley somewhere. I think as time goes by, they're going to have to settle on someone that the the team and the group of players need guidance because the last couple of campaigns haven't been haven't been enjoyable. I don't think for the players or, or for us certainly watching it. So now they need a bit of guidance. They need a bit of stability, and they need to understand what the what the aims are for the next sort of group stages. Is it about qualifying or is it still in the development phase? Where are we now? We need a coach to come in and, and probably set those, set the, the limits for the players and say, look, we want to qualify now, no more development talk. Is, is it though, these friendlies coming up in March, is it better not to rush into an appointment and, and have I mean, people talk about John O'Shea maybe taking the team for those games and wait for the right person to come along or is it important to get the get the ship on course sooner rather than later? I think they have to move on. I think if they if their dream and their plan is to get Lee Carsley and they've offered it to him, time's up almost now. It's like these are the internationals, these are the games, these are the, the preparation for for what's coming in the future. So they have to change the direction that they're looking at and maybe go for someone to come in ASAP and, and get the team sorted and get it working in, in his style of football. And it may not be a long term and. and as much as Lee Carsley would be a really long term, but it has to be a couple of campaigns at least, I would have thought.